still trying to throw the ball On first and goal, second and goal Panicking at third Fourth, I'm wishing for a month Welcome to the 510 Huddle We back, week one, baby How you doing today, Coach Lane? Man, excited 2021 season, 2020-21 season is back upon us. And um, I'm excited for some football, man. You know, NFL is my favorite. And I um, can't wait to get to it, Zay. What do you expect this year? Man, hold on. Where's the energy at, Lane? Bring it up. I was trying to play like you. Bring it up. Hey, I was trying to play like you, Mr. Smooth Casanova on the track. Hey, no, I'm, I'm hyped you for that. Right, let's go. It's week go. one. It's, it's week, week one. one. My bad, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I, I didn't even think we was going to have football this year, man. Come on. But, no, nah, this – I do want to dive right into it. Uh, we got football week one coming up, um, and we got it's a COVID season, and I'm I'm really curious to how the no fans is going to play out. And the first thing I thought of some of these dudes in the league, like who played in Texas, you know, these South programs, <laughs> they've never played. You know, they went on to SEC. They never played with no fans. They've never even seen an empty stadium. Probably even since down to Pop Warner. Right? I mean, Pop Warner in the South probably had five K. You know, <laughs> like so. I mean, what? That's the first thought, and I think you know it makes me think our our defense is going to struggle. No momentum. Um, you know, you're not going to you're not going to have you know, trying to get them hype. You know, them early morning games. It's not gonna be no fans that get you hype. But that, that's when I first started thinking how the season gonna look as far as the game. What, what's your thoughts? Yeah, my my biggest thing. I'm really tweaking off the injuries, man. Them, them soft t- tissue injuries. We didn't, Von Miller just went down yesterday. I think he broke his ankle. I've been following a lot of camps, uh, different training camps throughout the uh, off season. We just we having guys drop left and right, you know, with just soft tissue injuries and shit like that. Cause it's a very un, unorthodox season, you know. The training probably was different. Everything was different for these players, and um, that's one of the main reasons why I'm not doing fantasy football. We'll talk about it later. But um, I'm just really tweaking off the injuries, man. And um, and these teams didn't have the regular off season to prepare. We know on um, OTAs, most teams are able to put their what phase one, phase two of the playbooks in. They did that through Zoom, so there's no real team chemistry there. I got issues with that. I feel like any team that has a new quarterback or a new, uh, new coach, they, they, they're a little behind the eight ball just because they, they had to meet through Zoom and shit as well, have meetings through Zoom. So it's just weird, man. It's going to be a weird season. I'm definitely excited to have football back. I think the biggest key word for this NFL season for every team is depth. Got to have depth. Yeah, and – and I think that's why the NFL made the 16-man uh, practice squad. And I, I thought that was the coolest part of the NFL adapting and, and having veteran players ready to go. Now you don't have to have just the unexperienced, never play guys. Do, do you think the well, – Eagles got the oldest player in, in the league. On the that, that's what count. <laughs> hey, Towards them ACL or that, his hamstring last year trying to break out of the pocket in that playoff game. I was surprised that was – his that's an old man. Energy. That's an old 41. man. Just run it. Just, hey. yeah. But he's 41 getting paid 250 And he doesn't have to leave Texas. Doesn't have to leave Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the best. He got the best job in America. You get to work. I think I seen that some, something today. He got a, a weight room at the house. He said he could just work out at the house, throw on the field at the local high school. He, and just be on call. Who he throwing to? Me and yeah. you? 16 year old time. Hopefully, Tommy? my team don't need him, man. And I also heard the young bull Jalen Hurts is looking real nice. They say they say he's looking real nice in camp right now. Uh, Zay, he's okay. making some dynamic plays. No, only reason that makes me a little worried that he's you know all that in camp is that wouldn't have had Josh McCown there. But I yeah. think in this year, no matter what team you are, you got to have three quarterbacks, no matter what. Because let's say you're you know Pat Mahomes, you get COVID, you're out for two weeks, right? And then your quarterback is hurt. You got to have three quarterbacks this year. And I think. Do you think the 16-player practice squad the NFL should keep and where you can have veteran guys on there? I, I think that makes sense, and I think we'll get a better product just as a fan because, like, if my – let's say you got a lineman, right? You got you got to have a guy that would be out the league, but instead he's on your practice squad. Yeah. My my whole thing with it, with it is it's just taken away from opportunities for those young guys, you know, that's coming in fresh every year. But, you know uh, – the Rockies behind the XFL now. It's other avenues, you know, for them to still try to uh, make it to the league. But I definitely think that practice uh, squad, I think it, they should just have it for this year. I wouldn't mind it being 16 players, but I definitely think it needs to be just something for the for the younger players because that's where they get the reps at to learn the playbook, learn the system, and just get better. It's like the, it's like them red shirting 
compare how we do in college. You know, you get bigger, stronger, dive deeper into the play. So, so y'all about the new player coming in, not the vet. Just building it, like just building those guys, building that that skill set. That older player gonna be out the league sooner or later anyway. You might as well develop this new crop of talent. And you already got that, or you already gonna have better presence on your real roster. We talking practice squad here. Yeah, but I'm saying like there's certain positions where every team wish they had a better on their practice squad. That's quarterback, quarterback sure. and alignment, right? Those are the two positions where one of the hardest to so find. So what do you do with those? What do you do with those those linemen? Those linemen that's raw but freakish, freakishly talented. Excuse me, um, real freakish. Um, but don't don't have it all put together. You still that's, that's right. where they put those because look, players at. Like, but you understand? It's, that's why I said the sixteen is normally ten. Yeah. So you have six veteran spots, and then a ten that doesn't change. You still got ten del- uh, developmental guys. It's always been ten. That doesn't yeah. change. I'm yeah. just mean keep six veteran spots. You so, said an extra six. Yeah, yeah six. Yeah, so that's cool. I, like uh, on any given team, you'll probably have hey, probably fill that veteran spot up. You know, probably three linemen, a quarterback. <laughs> You know, in a position within that could be receiver, running back, whatever, right? And you got a guy you can count on, right? Especially like the playoff teams, right? Like the Chiefs, the uh, right, the Titans, teams like those. Seahawks, you you you're in a win now situation, right? If you're a fan and just as a product, the NFL as a business, like, well, if they can keep players that veteran in house. You know what I mean? Because those veteran guys that get cut, they're better than every practice guy on the squad. They just they're too expensive. The vet minimum was, I think, three million or one point five million. Yeah. I'll, I'll pay this price guy, price squad. I think they get twelve k a week, ten k a week. That's whatever NFL standards. So we'll we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, any thoughts with no preseason? We're gonna see sloppy play. What we're yeah, gonna see, yeah, man. Early early sloppy play. I think by some of the offenses, especially like I said, the the teams with new quarterbacks and new systems being implemented. Um, I definitely see slow sloppy football early on. I think. I know the NFL talked about uh, trying to uh, eliminate soft tissue injuries. You know, sadly, uh, Von Miller, as we know, had a soft tissue injury. The tendon uh, dislocated off his ankle. Um, he was just running off the field the last play. Last play. And they said they had a lot of soft tissue uh, injuries the year they had the lockout. I remember it was no, it was no OTAs that uh, – 2011. 2011, the NFL had a lockout, and there was no uh, – there was a lot of uh, soft tissue injuries. So I think the NFL, they had put in place like special training, special thing that trainers can do to eliminate or lower soft tissue injuries. So I think we're going to see more of those. Sadly, you know, I'm not wishing injury on any player, but it's just the nature of the game. We don't have OTAs and your body's not used to it. Um, but, you know, as we know, we're the 5 one huddle. So let's dive into the 49ers Raider predictions. Off the bat, where, where you got the Niners landing this year, Lane? Ten and six. Ten and six. So worst worst record in the last year. I see them ten and six. They definitely got a harder schedule. They got. Uh, I feel like them in the, when I was looking at them in the Raiders' schedule, I feel like they both had tough schedules. But uh, with the Niners, I see them splitting with the Cards. The Cards is one of my sleeper teams this year. I'll talk about them later. I, I got the car. I got the Cards in Seattle splitting with. The Niners, I feel like they'll sweep the Rams. I see them losing to my Eagles. That's my biased opinion. Opinion, you know, I'm an Eagles fan. Um, and I see them losing to the Saints in New England. Uh, but two games I really think they should watch out for this season, though, the Niners. One is the Packers. They play them at home. But can you beat a team three times in a row? That's tough, let alone beating them twice in your know, same division. That's hard to do. Uh, I'm watching for that game. And my other sleeper team this year that I will talk about later too as well is the Bills. They got a late season matchup against the Bills. I will be definitely on watch if I was the Niners for that one. Okay. I I, I like the, those predictions. I think the Niners will, um, you know, last year uh, they're, you know, number one seed in the NFC. And I think they'll still be that uh, top, top team. I don't think they'll be the number one seed. I think the Saints will be the best team in the NFC. I think they'll, they'll be that number two seed this year. Um, and I think the best, you know, not necessarily if they win 10 games this year, 11 games, I think the no, you're not going to see those 14, 13 win teams this year. Strictly based off you no know, preseason, we're going to have a lot of weird games. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Chiefs lost to the Jaguars this year just because how weird it's, it's going to be a weird season. So, yeah, Cal, Colin Coward, he tripping saying the Ravens could possibly go undefeated. Yeah, I don't think. I don't see, like you said, 14, 15 win. I don't see none of that. That's not, that's not a, that's not who, it's not a plug in 
like I, I see his mindset where you know the run game is gonna be hard to stop. You no, know, I, I kind of get where he's coming from that, but uh, I, I don't see that happening just because there's no film. Think about it. some of these head coaches have never coached even in college. So they have no idea how it goes, means to go into week one with zero film on a team. Zero film in this year. Every film they're watching from 2019 or their playoff team, um, you know, from late the beginning of the year. So um, but I have the Niners uh, doing a little bit better um, at 11 and five. Uh, and the reason being that the beginning of the year is really easy. I think they could start off hot. I know you like them winning against your Eagles. Um, I think that they could, I mean, your Eagles being them, I think the Eagles uh, could possibly lose just to, uh, I believe. No, possibly bullshit. What you no, saying? The Eagles have to travel west. That's it's a, it's a West Coast saying. game. So I think. Taking that as an L? Yeah, taking that as an L. I think the Rams are not going to be that good this year. I can see the Niners being 7 0 going to week eight. And the crazy part is, I think week one is going to be pretty close, but they play the Jets and Giants. Is there an easier back to back in the NFL this season? I mean, only stretch that could be easier if you got Jets, Giants, Jags. Jags is bad. You know, yeah. oh my, that's terrible. Giants, yeah. So, I mean, I, 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 oh, I, wait, 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 I lied. They have the easy the, week three Giants, week four, excuse me, week, week two Jets, week three Giants, week four Eagles, then week five Dolphins. So the, the offense is on the uprise. I think that'd be better. They, no, and they were a tough team last year. Last year, yeah, played, you know. especially at the end but of the year, Florida. The Niners. I, we look at them as a one or two seed in the NFC. Am I wrong on that? One or two seed, right? Yeah. The, um, I was going. They mention, should. They should whoop their ass. Yeah, for sure. I was going to mention the Giants when you talking about how teams suck. I've been trying to play with Saquon for about a week now on Madden, and it, I can't talk myself into picking the Giants. <laughs> They're trash, bro. Like I love. I want to play with them so bad. They have no quarterback and no weapons. I'm like, no. Nah, They're, <laughs> They're terrible. They're ter- and they saw that they just had to cut their first round corner. Uh, it's crazy, a guy. I did not know all the draft capital they traded for him. I just looked at it the other day. Yeah. They traded like a, a, a one, a three, and a five or some shit yep. like that to get him. Yep. And, and what's even more, uh, you do that for a Ramsey. I don't think you do that for no. He yeah. wasn't even was he the he wasn't CB one. No, not coming out that class, he was up there. Though. He was like top five, top. Yeah, two, but it, last that corner class wasn't strong. Like I said, I wouldn't trade that yeah. much capital. And for this is what the ironic corner. part is. Unless he's like speaking, speaking of Baker. You know, it's it's nothing. He's charged, so they have enough evidence to at least charge him. You know, not to go off a ramp. We're still in the Niners, but I looked it up. He was guaranteed uh, fifteen million dollars yeah. in his contract. Yeah. <coughs> oh, Rona, is that you? <coughs> I don't know what you. They need some water, man. <laughs> oh shit. Oh man, need some water, man. All right, my fault. <coughs> this guy. No, the uh, <clears throat> he was guaranteed fifteen million dollars in his contract. It involved in arm robbery. Hey, give my man some water, <laughs> man. My my guy needs some water. My guy needs some water, man. I'm done. <laughs> you want me to move on Thank to the Raiders you. while you catch up? Nah, you gotta finish your your niner. Uh, 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 well, it's finish on nine or what is that? It's good. Uh, my man over here dying real quick, y'all. Poor uh, air quality, y'all saw. Man, the, the fire. And I still can't believe you make a multi-millionaire rob somebody. I appreciate it. I'm back. I'm back. Like I was saying, my man Baker. Fifteen million. Would you would you rob someone for if you got fifteen million? His, his career could have ended in one in one year. Could never play the snap again. He was getting fifteen mil. Trip that. Anyways, so like I said, the, the Niners got an easy stretch. So that, I think they're going to Week Eight playing the Eagles at seven and zero. It's a real possibility. Not uh, at least at least you know six and one is a possibility as well. Um, and then it gets tough, and I think this is where I lose a couple games. Uh, particularly because they're away. Um, you know, they play the Seahawks, they play the Packers, they, um, they go to the Saints. And and when I say away, I don't necessarily mean like, oh, you know, I think there's really there's really no such thing as home field advantage this year. But I think it's similar to, um, you know, football players are used to routine. And so having to go out to your routine, there's always that element. You're not sleeping in your own bed. You know what I mean? And so I think, you know, they got to play the Saints. 
Uh, and then they have to go all the way to, uh, you know, play the Cowboys. And so I think, you know, I think they lose a couple down the stretch. Um, but I believe they'll be the one or two seed uh, this year. And I, I think the AFC, same way, like Chiefs could win 12 games and be the number one seed, 11 games. Because it's going to be that type of season. But um, diving to next, what we got for the Raiders? No excuses for Carr and Gruden, but more so for Carr for me. Um, every every offensive position is just about stack with talent around them. They're about three, three, four deep at receiver. Got a top five tight end. Um, one of the best dual threat backs in the league, and Josh Jacobs. If Carr doesn't have an outstanding year, I just I don't see how Gruden continue, continues this length, lengthy contract of his with Carr as his quarterback. I think he has to get another quarterback. Um, but as far as for your team, the not, uh, the Raiders, excuse me, man, y'all, I, I told you off off air, I could possibly see y'all start one and five, man. Y'all y'all got a tough schedule. And then y'all got one and five, or y'all got the first five weeks, then you got a bye week, and then right there, you got to see the Chiefs. Last year, I went out on a limb and said you guys would split with the Chiefs. Didn't get it done. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try again for this year. I see you guys sweeping the Ram, uh, the Broncos. I see you guys sweeping the Broncos and possibly sweeping the Chargers. I got you guys splitting with the Chiefs. I got you guys going nine and seven. Got you guys going nine and seven. Okay. Uh, and I'm with you on that with the Raiders prediction. And before I get into, it, I want to just talk about Carr real quick and, and Gruden. Um, I think this is a year is a big proof year for Carr and Gruden. Um, you know, Gruen, you know, came in four and twelve last year, seven and nine. Um, and I think this is a year he has to make the playoffs. There's an extra playoff spot this year. So if you if you can't be, you know, even in the top half in the AFC this year, I mean what? You got a you got a fifty percent chance to make the playoffs this year almost. Seven teams make it. Seven teams. Right? There's eight teams in each uh, <laughs> in each um conference. So um, if Gruden and they have the talent, you know, other, the only way there's an excuse this year is for some reason they don't have, you know, I don't, you know, some crazy injuries, you know, something wild. But even then, um, Gruden, I think Gruden needs to find a way to win. Uh, secondly, uh, as far as talent, I think the talent on the team um, this year, I think you show, you know, I judge the talents of teams last year, talent based off where those stars are. Um, quick notes, Daryl Worley is a third starting cornerback um, for the Cowboys. He was QB1 um, for the Raiders last year. So right there, drastically, I know our secondary is better. Um, next, uh, Carl Joseph. I believe he wasn't named a starter with the Browns at all. All right. He was one of our starting safeties last year. Uh, we also um, – now we have a couple other players. Tyre White, Whitehead. He's on starting linebacker on the Panthers last year. That's fourth team, um, I believe, in seven years. That's all you should know, right? Um, and so there, I look at our defense, we have, you know, uh, improved the linebacking core. We have speed on offense. That was the excuse last year, right? Not, we don't have anyone supposed to. Y'all got somebody on the yeah, side, man. Yeah, we got Abram. Um, you know, our draft picks are supposed to got, uh, have gotten better. Our first rounds from last year, Clint Farrell. So, uh, um, you know, to me, if the pl- it's playoffs or s- something drastic has to change this year, it's simple. Um, and with that, I believe we go nine and seven, similar to what you said. But I don't look at our schedule being that hard, right? You see, we play the Panthers. I believe that's a W. Uh, we play the Saints. Uh, we, uh, we lose that. But I, we play the Patriots. You know, I don't look at the Patriots as a good team. I think let's remember. I'm taking Bill over John Gruden any day of the week. That's or, and, and there's nothing wrong with that pick. There's nothing wrong with that I pick. Yeah. At the end of the day, I believe it's talent. And the Patriots could, could barely operate with the best quarterback of all time last year. Um, and, and this is, again. 12 and 4, barely operating number one defense? No, again. The offense was subpar, you know. You know, the pack, but. again, they lost they lost a, a lot of – not lost, a lot of the defense players opted out. They had three stars opt out. No, most of that defense from last year is uh, yeah, number yeah, one defense. Now, now. They, still have, yeah. they still have Gilmore. He's a blanket. He can literally take away a field. Got the McCoy right? They have, twins, they have no it. pass rusher, yeah. right? Um, and so that's where I just look at it's going to be – you know, we now have a defense. Um, it's going to be really, I feel like, hard for the offense to score. Um, you know, the best Cam Newton we saw was the most loaded team in almost Panther history. 
aside from that Super Bowl, the Super Bowl team in 03. Who was that outside receiver, Zay? Oh, on defense? Wide receiver one when Cam went to Super Bowl. No, I, oh, well, you said you said loaded, so I loaded thought you mean like on all, all loaded team. Well. Oh, yeah. Well, no. the defense, the defense draw that and team, they had a run game. game. Yeah, they no had run game. game. He, he don't got no receiver now, so I don't know why I'm really correcting because they, they don't that's have what no, I'm, That's yeah. my point. What I see defense it, and not a good offense. For the Patriots, I just see it as one of those run the ball type years and play deep. Bill, Bill Belichick's a defensive guru. He'll get it done to keep teams under yeah, 21. No, that makes sense. You got them losing. I, I don't look at it as a hard game. I look at uh, 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 the three. Bills come, The Bills coming out west. That's um, week three? Yeah, week three. Week four. So I feel about the Bills. Yeah, so I, I feel good about the Bills, too. We believe they're going to win the division there. But um, I I see the Raiders, you know, going into not – not one and five, but I see them going to the Chiefs at two and two, right? And we go down two three, we rebound. I was thinking about giving y'all that New England one, but I was just like, at the end of the day, I just I couldn't. Yeah, because see, talk myself with, with your logic, I don't really, I, I don't really see how we rebound. I think, I, crazy enough, it was, I think it was Andy Reid's team, the only team to start one and five and make the playoffs. Remember they won out, they won mm-hmm. like eleven straight. Yeah, it was Marty. Yeah, so I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see that happening. Like this John Gruden team doing that, so I don't, they can't afford to lose to yeah. me against the Patriots. Gotcha. We start counting wins. That means you have to sweep the Broncos. Yeah, yeah, right, right now, they lost Von Miller, which is is ironic enough. They have not had a full season with Bradley Chubb and Von Miller. That to me, that would be mm. some of the most dominating, dominating duo. But you know, I think the you know, Raiders. To me, the season is simple. It's playoffs or bust. And, and you know, like we said with the Niners, uh, to me, it's um, you know NFC Championship or bust. But you have to at least get close to back where you were. Um, you don't get close to that. I think you take a huge step back, and you have to reevaluate where you're at because this team is really deep, and you can't, you know, you have to pay a lot of players. So as we saw, I um, have to get rid of Buckner this year. Okay. Where we at? Got NFL MVPs. Oh, right, that's the best part. Who you got? NFL MVP. Yep. Man. I got two. I really got two picks. I'm going to be definitive and say Pat. I got Pat being MVP. I got Russ being a close second. And I, I think I've seen the stat that said Russ never had a first place vote for MVP. That's fucking ridiculous. But I got Russ as a close second, and I got Pat being MVP. Oh, I like that. I think you can't go wrong with those picks. Um, mine's a little different. I think Russ finally wins his first MVP this year. Okay. Um, I, just, I feel like last year – in a, in a weird way, I think America always knew about Russ because in Super Bowl teams, but it was like Seahawks and Legion of Boom, right? Legion of Boom has been gone for quite some time now. And I think everyone sees, you know, oh, Russ is the reason they're winning. Like, yeah. if you saw last year's talent, let's just say we placed the Seahawks with Carr last year. They might win two games with the talent he had last year. Um, and so I think this year he um, – I think Lamar's campaign just looked a little more sexier. Yeah, it's all media. about that. Like, just because you know the media yeah. people, I think media votes for this shit. Yeah, yeah. They're not watching every game. They're not breaking shit down. The yeah. media, I don't think they are. You feel me? With some of the shit they, they put out there. You know, you're out there watching Seattle. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? I, I just think Lamar's overall season, especially when you see the highlights and the splash plays throughout the whole week, week one and week 16 last year, looked a little more sexier. But if you really take into every factor of team, how it was built, and the shit he had to go through, Man, I think it was Russ last year. Like you said, I think I wouldn't be surprised if he gets his first one this year. He's yeah. my close second. No, and, and see, my, and my close second, crazy enough, isn't Pat. And it's not saying I don't think Pat's going to have a down year yeah. whatsoever. I think uh, when you have so much hype around you, I think in the numbers he put up the last two years, it's like he has to oh, top that. You know what I mean? Like, well, he was hurt last year, so he didn't get to do the yeah, numbers he did the year right. before. My whole thing is my, my second, my closest is D, Deshaun Watson. D Y and D-Y. you know that was my pick last year. Yeah, it was. Damn, well, hold on. Why are you going with him this year now with losing D Hot? I picked him last because year because I saw I saw him get up 20 0 against the Chiefs. I said, This is a bad man. <laughs> no, he is bad. He, he was uh, my yeah. pick last year, though. You he remember just I got paid. He just got paid. And, and I just think I think we're gonna see, you know. That what what did uh, his coach say? I think we'll see the Michael Jordan Deshaun Watson this year. My, I love how he did his contract. By the way, not being stuck there for too yeah. long. Uh, my my my, re- my reasons for Pat being MVP, I just think is because some of the same reasons we was talking about to open up the show. How do we think the season's going to look? Man, you bring it back the same band. You add one of the most dynamic backs in the draft. They keep sleeping on that boy Clyde Edwards. I think his name from LSU. Yeah. Dog. Nice. He's gonna be nice with that team. Yep. Plug him. You can plug him in right now. And play Damian Williams is sitting out, um, and I just think they don't miss a beat, man. They 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 didn't need no off season. They they running the same shit. They got the same shit. The same mastermind at quarterback. The same mastermind at head coach. 
him and uh, Eric being to meet. Like, come on, man. I think that I just think everything's set in place for him to uh, to have a big year. And I think yeah. Pat, I think I think it would be Pat. But like I said, I would not be mad at Russ. Russ is my second close. And you know, one thing that's I think really cool and it, and it's crazy to say this: uh, when we were younger, do you think there was ever a time we we're thinking talking about three black QBs or MVP? <laughs> Top five didn't last year. Top five yeah. QBs was. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, right, we bring in just you know, let's say I think Lamar Jackson is going to be in the conversation, of course, again this year, right? Um, that's 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 four black QBs right there. Yeah, for us, I think growing up, we just really had one. Yeah. That was Mike Vick, yeah. right? Was, like, that yeah. was the only black Simple. quarterback. Like we, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then when Cam, I think that's why then we lost the Cam, right? Yeah. And that was Superman. Yeah. And then, but I think there's still the stigma. All oh, they can't throw, they can't throw. Yeah. The quarterbacks with his name, it's not a question, Pat Russell. They can be light you yeah, up. They They'll that, light man. you up. It's no question. <laughs> yeah, now that's yeah. what I love now. It's this no <coughs> they can do both. And it's making other quarterbacks have to do both. Like you have to run and throw now. Right. right. You got yeah, the Carson that's Wentz. That's funny how like yeah, now they like even they're making the white quarterbacks, they gotta be Carson, the Carson Wentz. Josh, Josh Allen, Allen yeah, yeah. You gotta be able to get outside. Even the Sam Darnold, he throws. moves, right? Mm-hmm. Like the Josh Rosens came working in today's league, right? They came with their feet. You know what it is, man? And Lil Cuz, I was talking uh, with Lil Cuz about it before earlier about how he was just saying, oh, I like college versus NFL. He was like, NFL. Kyle Murray? No, that too. He was like, NFL, when I watch it, he was telling me Lil Cuz. He was just like, man, I feel like they all at the same speed. I was like, bro, because they are. I was like, your D lineman in the NFL can run, my guy. Like, yes. <laughs> they can yeah. run four fives, four sixes, four seven these days. You feel yeah. me? Like, so your quarterback got to be able to wiggle. <laughs> you got to be able to move. You have you have to and like uh, yeah you know, we talked about like Colin Murray I think he's gonna take a huge step this year and he's exactly. again think about it they traded a first round pick top ten picking Josh Rosen who's your in two thousand and five this would never happen Josh Rosen six five perfect arm strength he's never getting traded for Colin Murray like a five nine t- come on he's like five nine let's yeah, be honest got you like, you know, yeah, yeah. Being nice. that would never happen that's how you know the game the game's changed you have to be able to move and throw. Has anybody have a, had a worse start to their career than Josh Rosen though? With the outside variables, like uh, what, what? 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 He had what like do you mean five. Start? Like as far as outside Ryan variables, Marcus Russell. As like, far as no, no. I, that's why I said with the outside, including oh. the outside variables. As far as he he didn't have like five or six coordinators in six seasons. Yeah, that's but, insane, bro. But then the talent wins at the end of the day because this is my thing. If he was legit quarterback, he would be the backup to Tua this year. No, nah, for sure. And he couldn't yeah. he couldn't beat out 38-year-old Fitzpatrick. All right, like Fitzpatrick. That's just tough, man, because shit. I think uh your boy even had like two different coordinators in the first and he had four a shot, years. And right? he had a Drew shot car. Like, yeah, car, but look, car let's no And he rest. didn't hit till that second year with Del Rio, right? That that was yeah, the Yeah, but year. let's remember, like with okay, he had he had a year where they're they're shitty. The second year was seven and nine. So it was Rose ain't never had that. Yeah, Rose, Rose ain't year. never had a second year with the same coordinator, is what I'm saying. Car, no, Car the first time on the same coordinator? Gruden. Gruden, yeah, right? Yeah. So that's what I mean. Excuse no, me. No, Musgrave. Real. Musgrave. Yeah, Musgrave the first time for two years. I thought it was real. I thought well, he had, his OC was. I got, you, I, got yeah. you, I got you. I got you. I got you. So that's what I mean. So, but that's with, with Rosen, you got to show something, bro. You can't, you can't even be a second stringer. That's where it's like, I don't really care if you have the same coordinator. You're, you couldn't even be a backup. Yeah, he might be the highest pick ever on a, a practice squad. <laughs> I wonder if that's a record because he's on the practice oh, squad, to, right? Yeah. I don't think we had, he's never, on the practice. He's never team, been yeah. a first round quarterback in practice squad the first three years. I don't think that would work. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Exactly. We um. So who's your rookie of the year then? Yeah, funny why you was talking on uh, when you mentioned Kyler because I got it right last year. I think I'm gonna get it right again this year. Who did I pick last year? year? Who, I last year? who did you put? I know you was on me about my Kyler pick. Who did? did was it Jacob? Did you go with your boy? No, I was an, I, I just You just didn't think he was going enough. I thought games his team was it. so bad. Yeah, yeah. You, and that too. You said you thought his team was real bad. Uh, and he he wouldn't win enough games. I don't think I picked. I was picked it Jacobs? No, I don't think so. You don't think pick Josh? I thought I picked the receiver. It might have been. So this is my pick this year. I got two. Once again, I'm not really def- definitive on this one. I got two options: Joe Burrow or C.D. Lamb. One for Joe Burrow is kind of my same reasons for last year. As far as with Kyler, uh, he has an offensive-minded head coach, and he has weapons. He has weapons, guys. You can't. I don't know about the O line, but Joe Burrow got weapons. You got mixing that back. He just got paid, so you know he's ready. A healthy AJ. AJ didn't want to play and he wasn't healthy last year. He's going to play this year. It's contract year, I think, for him. Got Boyd at number two. Drafted my guy T. Higgins uh, in the second round. So he he got he got weapons all around him with an offensive minded head coach. I don't think they will win enough games the same way Kyler was last year. I don't think they'll win a lot of games, but I feel like he'll put up like nice numbers where you're like, damn, those are really good numbers. 
for that bad organization situation he has around him. You feel me? That yeah. type of shit. That's what I think for him. And then with CD, I think uh, I just felt like a receiver might get it this year as well. That's why I went CD number two. But I took CD because I just feel like he has the supporting cast to take the pressure off of him and let him just rip out the gate. Plus, he has a highly motivated Dak at quarterback that needs, that needs to get paid and wants his contract. So, um, Coop will be taking a lot of coverage. You got Gallup. You got Jarwin. You got uh, – you're automatically going to play the run because you got Zeke in the backfield. I see CD having a great year, man. You know, I, I, I mean, and that's crazy. Good. Hey, that's how y'all know I'm keeping it one because I'm an Eagles fan. I hate yeah. them damn Cowboys. And I'm keeping the one on, on yeah. the pot. I think those are uh, – I mean, I, I don't think you can go wrong with those picks. Joe Burrow, I think, is a safe pick just because I think – one, I, I think he's just one of the most NFL-ready quarterbacks we had in a while just because the experience he's had in college, five years. Um, he, he's just with the NFL OC um, with Joe Brady, who now with Carolina and was previously with uh, uh, LSU and the Saints. So I think, you know, Joe Burrow, I mean, I, I would say him as well, but I have a surprise pick that I think a lot of people don't see coming. Um, I think Tua. Um, this reason why, why I've read for Tua and training camp 100% healthy, running around, doing everything. Um, the coaches, you know, doing it the right way, starting Fitzpatrick first. I think soon to Tua touches the field, as he did as a true freshman, it's, it's history. Um, so I think he might just get a little splash. If Joe Burrow doesn't start the season off hot, I, I think Tua can run away with but it. But you think Tua can still get it, even with a couple games, not under his belt? Because he's going to lease it all week, a few weeks, two to four weeks. At yeah, that, but that that, this, this, this is why I said Joe Burrow has to go to a hot start because – if you like Joe Burrow, just uh, – look, look, think about this how I see, right? If Joe Burrow's just whatever first four weeks, right? Not saying he's going to be a bad I feel player. like if he's whatever, though, he's still ahead of the uh, – No, no, let's say not playing well, games. right? Not playing well. Like okay. He's a rookie. He looks like a rookie QB. Nothing wrong you. with that, right? I got you. And I think other people would take the attention, like Clyde Edwards. Uh, Clyde Edwards higher. Like, yeah, I don't know, right? The back. The back, right? He can take the attention, right? I think Sue Tua touches the field is going to be a spark, like he did at Alabama, like he's done his whole life. Um because remember, I, like I said, after the drive, I thought Tua had the bigger upside. Um, and I think he'll do that right away. So, to me, like, yeah, if I'm a better man, I'm picking Joe. Now, if someone I think is going to be uh, static, someone that doesn't feel is Tua. Um, and then, like I said, I think uh, if both quarterbacks don't, you know, just stick out this year, like Kyler did have a successful rookie season, um, I think Clyde um, Edwards uh, will, will sweep. He's going to get a lot of touches. So. He, yeah, uh, I, I was looking at him, man, and I was like, Andy is going to do some things with that boy. Because he oh, reminded me of, like, a young Shady. Just, like, fresh legs, springy, young, you feel me? Powerful. He was, yeah, he, he was way more powerful yeah. than Shady. Y'all, not, not as running-wise. I just feel like uh, uh, Reed is going to use him in the same fashion. No, he reminded me of As he used McCoy. I, he, remind, he reminded me of Ray Rice. Stronger. I can see that. And I was a big Ray Rice fan coming yeah. out of Rutgers. Yeah. I always liked Ray Rice. Don't forget, he's the reason it was Super Bowl. People don't – it's hey, – right, right. If, he if he didn't make that bad decision, he would have been – you know, we – everyone would know. Yeah, yeah, facts. Now, I'm going to just say my – I know your defense rookie year. I don't have a second. I don't have a close second. It's Chase Young, and it's Chase Young to lose. I think he'll – like, we thought we was – you know, Joey Bosa was cool. I think we'll see uh, Joey Bosa the tight rookie season. Um, but a whole nother level. It's just Chase Young. That's it. Go ahead. <laughs> I got two, but my first one is because I'm sorry I'm so indecisive, y'all. It's just it's a weird season, man. It's a weird season. But uh I share the same sentiments as they I got Chase Young uh because dude's a freak, man. He's a freak. I've been watching a few clips uh from camp. The way he's been in that edge, he's like a vet. You're that shit don't <laughs> the shit almost look a little quicker than Von Miller shit coming off the edge. And Von, we already know all time. Come on, one of the one of the best. I, I this, gotta, I gotta, okay. I'm talking about the way. I'm not saying like his technique and oh, everything. Yeah. I'm talking about the way he bends yeah. the edge coming off that edge. This motherfucker is fast. And, like, and he looks like he got a problem with people. Like, yeah. like I'm not happy. Like he come in with bad intentions. I got me fucked up. Yeah, out of every yeah. Day. I got him, and then my second guy, just because I think his team is going to do a little better, and I feel like, but I, I don't know, because I thought they would put him everywhere, but now when I looked at the depth chart before the pod, I see them having them at literally inside backer. But I have Isaiah Simmons as my number two. I like him coming out of college at Clemson. I think his team will be a little better uh, better this year. And um, I thought they would line him up everywhere, but I think they're just going to use him as a true middle backer. But I think the kid can still make plays and have action at uh, defensive rookie of the year. I, I think that's a smooth play. I think my problem with Isaiah, I, think he's going to, I don't think he's going to spark off year one. I think he'll be like year two player just because he was that tweener. So he's going to have to really know how to play backer, yeah. not safety. It's not Roman. And what I think he'll eventually. And that, that was part of my reason for picking him until I looked at the depth chart. I thought they would have him moving him around, but they got him at they got him at inside backer, bro. I thought they were 
At least have him an outside or some or weak side backer. Definitely. Probably threw some weight on that kid. Yeah, we'll see. Let's run it through it real quick. Who's your Super Bowl pick? Super Bowl pick? Man, I got the Chiefs getting back. You know, they're bringing the band back. I got the Chiefs getting back versus Seattle. Like Chiefs that. versus Seattle. And I really wanted to go Saints. I wanted to mention this earlier when you said Saints uh, versus the Niners. I wanted to pick the Saints, man, but I can't I can't seem to forget the Drew Brees comment a few mo- a month and a half back as far as – like, I, it's easy to get over, bro, but you don't know how some of them players are really feeling in the locker room as far as, like, I've seen Shannon, Shannon Sharp say something as far as, man, that chemistry's cracked. It's cracked forever until he leaves the locker room. You you don't think it's that way just because it, even if every player make it make it seem like oh that's Drew that's our captain we good it's a few players in that locker room that's really looking at him like some, like you feel me but this is or got some type this of, is my counter to this we're not in the locker room we not and, San, and Santa's speaking from his experience he's speaking like, as a player experience at experience. the NFL and let's be honest rooms. and let's say like Shannon like he's a like he you can tell you have a short lease with Shannon all right like yeah. you know so I would just say the history of Drew and what they're trying to do in New Orleans it's a win now we. This is the last year we really got with Drew, right? And so, and because of that, I, I had Saints Chiefs as super, my Super Bowl pick. Okay. Right? I, I think, I really think this year they're going to separate themselves. Um, but I have Seattle in the NFC Championship, and I have Titans this year in the NFC Championship versus the Chiefs. I just believe they have the best defense in the Titans. Titans. NFC. I don't, I don't think, uh, I was looking at them. I just don't think, um, actually, I was looking at their division. I, I like I like the Coast last year. I, I like the Coast again this year, man. I don't like Phillip. D. Y. I got D. Y. Um, in that division too. I I can't see Tannehill getting all the way there, man. I I can't buy into Tannehill. That's my whole thing with that pick. They did last year. They did. Yeah, they did. But yeah, I, I I'm, okay. I'm good. That's that's <laughs> okay. It's my question then. Who's better? Who who's the second best team in the AFC than the Chiefs? There's not the times with mm. exactly. Ravens, Shit. Ravens, all right. Let's we'll we'll say Ravens. Ravens, yeah. Okay. Ravens. But I'm saying the Ravens, from what I've seen, they've been one out, out it every year in the playoffs the last yeah. two years. This that year, we gotta see, we gotta see if Lamar take that step. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so but I'm saying there's really the AFC top heavy. It's three there's nothing. No, for sure. Yeah, the NFC been yeah the last few years. Yeah, NFC got Saints, Niners, uh, Seahawks, the Vikings. You know what I mean? Tampa. Like I said, but stop sleeping on them Patriots, man. Stop sleeping on the pages, man. Let's take him, Bill. Okay, right you now. Know? Right now, over or under six wins. You're being disrespectful. Over or under six what wins. What you want to bet? Fuck that. What you want to bet? I'm taking over. What you want to bet on that? That the pages get more than six wins. What you want to bet? And look at the schedule. Ah, now you want to look at the schedule. Now you want to look, no. look at the schedule. Now you want to look at the schedule. Nah. Nah, Zay. Hold on. I can't look at this schedule. Go ahead, bro. Pull out the schedule, man. Like I said, I'm rocking with Bill, man. I'm rocking with Bill. I'm rocking with Superman. Okay. I'm rocking with my man Cam. He healthy. Yeah. Here, I got it right here. For you, you want to pull it up? I got it right here. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. Dolphins, Seahawks, Raiders, Chiefs, Bronx. Can they got fairly easy schedule too? Fairly easy. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> under six. Wait, wait. Under. So I'm just gonna say, let's just say last year playoff teams, okay? Dolphins win. I'm just gonna count that, right? Seahawks. It can go either way. I'm counting right. wins. Miami's win. Okay, Miami. I'm, I'm only gonna just. I'm gonna give them benefit of the doubt. All of these. Dolphins win. Lost Seahawks. Raiders win. Chiefs lost. Broncos win. Win. Two stars. They got a buy. <laughs> just because they got. I think. I think Broncos are equal to them. I think it's a coin flip game. But yeah. Okay. All right, so where we at? They got three wins? Yeah. Two losses, right? Yeah. Niners, loss. Bills, loss. Jets win. So they have four wins. Mm-hmm. Ravens, loss. Texans, loss. You don't know about the Texans. That Texans would be a coin flip. That's D-Y. I'm not high. I'm not high on the Texans, bro. They ain't got, he ain't got nobody. And they're going to Houston. But go ahead. Go ahead. We'll just go to the next They made the playoffs. They only got four. It's good. Keep going. Four, keep right? going. You Cardinals, let's we'll just give them five. Chargers? I'll give them the Cardinals before. The, I mean, I'll give them the Chargers before the Cardinals. Let's just say yeah, with the Cardinals. Keep going. All right, Chargers? I gave five. them a five with the Chargers. Uh, Rams? I think the Rams are going to be trash this year. I think it'll be eight and eight trash, though, not like – Yeah, not super trash, yeah. but I'm, I'm going to give so them that's one. six wins right there. Yeah, six. Then they, Miami, they, they got on. Dolphins, Bills. Yes. 
Jets. Yeah. They sweeping the Jets, so that's nine wins. They, they're split. The you know what? They gonna get four wins off Jets and, and Dolphins. Uh, exactly. Dolphins. They gonna get four wins off the Jets and the Dolphins. And then they got they got Detroit, Carolina, and New York. That's se- that's seven wins right there, they don't bro. Have Detroit. I got Detroit at the end of the year. Oh, that's preseason. I'm tripping. I'm looking. I'm at the preseason. My bad. Right and then New York. outside of them, they got you know they got Cardinals, Chargers, Raiders, um, and, and Broncos. I think those are all coin flips. And they're gonna win one of those coin flips, at least one of the coin flips. Yeah. So they got what's that? That's three teams. So they have potentially won seven games. They have seven. I got it over six. What you want to bet? I'm going my gut, they're gonna be trash under six. I'm saying what we betting though. Uh what's on the bet? It don't matter. Uh shit. We'll figure it out off pot. We gotta keep going. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. But I got I got pats over six. Y'all take that down, man. Yeah, under six. Remember that. All right, what we got here? We got people believe like Cam is just all that. All right, we go. Hey, so who's let's just get into it then. Who's your who's your biggest, who's your your surprise team that makes the playoffs and one that doesn't? I couldn't do one that doesn't say it was too hard for me over the simple fact I forgot that the, the NFL added an extra playoff spot. So I couldn't really – it was too hard for me to talk, like, myself out of not take, taking the team out from last year that I made it. Mine, so. But um, I, I probably would have to look again and look a little deeper. But for this question, I just ended up picking two sleeper teams. Both of them already named the Bills and the Cards, man. I feel like the Cards are going to be a lot better. Come on, man. They added one of the top receivers in the game, d Hop. Kyler, I think, takes another step in year two. Got weapons around all around them on offense. I think the defense takes a slight improvement. Uh, and then with the Bills, come on, man, I was high on them last year. One, they're one of my favorite defenses to watch. I love both safeties they got back there high and that boy uh, Pointer, I think, or, or, or Jordan. I forget the other boy name. But both the safeties back there. They, white, the white sits, white said no, though, huh? In the corner. Or is he playing? No, he's playing. He's, he's playing. Gotta, they, he's I, just said, he's I was paid. wondering that because they just paid him too. Yeah, but I thought playing. I heard him say he was sitting out early when COVID started. But come on. The Bills defense, then they added a true number one. That was the one of the main things I was saying that was missing last year. Like I felt like they, the Bills was missing like a true number one receiver. I think they got that in Allen. The biggest question with them and how far they can go is as far as Josh or Allen or Arm can take them. That's, that's, those are good picks. I mean, uh, for me, it's real simple. My team that makes the playoffs that I think uh, – a lot of people like I thought cards was a really good pick. Like I like the cards. Um, I'm going my Raiders. I know you're going to go. get that second spot out there. Yeah, out good, division. Good. yeah there you go. That hey. extra playoff team. It's like I said. Really helped you. Like I said earlier in the pod. There's no excuse. Extra playoff spot. Their their car has all the weapons he needs. He got a fast guy. He got Brandon Edwards. He got tight ends. He got a line. He got running backs. He got everything. He got the same coordinator. Right. You got an extra playoff spot. You got a defense. With some play, with some speed, you got so that's gonna at least keep you in it this year. So it's no excuse. Now my surprise team, you already know, the Patriots ain't making playoffs. They made it last year, ain't making this year. Simple. I'm surprised you ain't say them. He I'm thinks they're gonna make it again. It, but it's, hey, they are gonna make the playoffs again this year. Them in, in their division is gonna be them. And what's the what's the name coming out? Them and the uh, the Bills. Anyways, well, um, yeah. So Pats ain't making it. My Raiders making it. Um, and it's time. It's time. It's crazy. I think it's fitting because the Patriots low key, when we lost to the Patriots in the AFC, that sparked their dynasty. It sparked their dynasty. And this year it's over. And Ubre is back on track. Fun, fun <laughs> the fact. The way you just fun, said that sounded like a real Raider fan, bro. <laughs> Raiders and Cowboys fans are the only teams that believe it's their year every year. No, I'll and, and let me say that I got a fun fact. Up in 2000, until 2008, the Raiders had the highest winning percentage in the NFL. We only had three losing seasons, excuse me, four losing seasons up until 2005. Yeah, you just said 2008. Yeah. That's 2020. It went a little down. <laughs> a little yeah, down yeah. my ass. A little down. What but in 2008, I was in eighth grade, so it was important. That's how yeah, you out of college and the whole grown-ass man about to get your own house, move in with a wife, yeah. dinner, have kids, and the whole damn nine before the Raiders have another fucking playoff run. Well, we went, hold on, if Cardi got hurt 2016, we was doing something. Yeah. yeah we went like, down a rabbit hole. <laughs> Because if Carmen applause this year, I bet I wish he would be in a jersey in 2021. He better be playing for the Bears, some team that just ain't never gonna Jacksonville. I don't care. Oh, All right, they got me hype. Got me. I'm about to. What? All right, D Lane. I know you want to test on the fantasy football. I'm not messing with it. I'm cool for all the same reasons we said to open up the show, man. Just because, especially not the money pot leagues that I usually do when we put money in it. I might do it for fun. 
But one uh, option that I definitely was looking into is DraftKings. I want you to talk to me about that a little bit because I, I heard they do the weekly one. I'm yeah. more into the weekly one just because of the injuries for I this like, season. So that's why I wanted to do DraftKings. And it's a DraftKings. payout. You can do 25 up to 100 to any more league. So let's say you got you just you find one joins 300 people. You pay $20 to buy in, and it's like certain players are worse than like D Hop might be three dollars, or right certain points. You get certain yeah, yeah, certain points, and then you can win. People winning money every week, and you lost this week. Oh well, I lost twenty bucks instead of you and five leads off forty dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think DraftKings is the way to go. I personally, I'm in a fantasy league. I'm just in one. Usually, I try to stay in like three. I'm just in one this year. Small bet one, twenty five dollar lead. Um, uh, same reasons. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a lot of injuries. And, and again, I want to be completely wrong. I hope I just want to put that out there. I hope there is not a bunch of injuries. I hope I'm yeah. wrong. Yeah, we both do, yeah. man. And I want to this this I want to be the most wrong I've ever been. Um, and no preseason, so you know, yeah. sloppy p- play probably won't be a lot of offenses. I don't know, man. I'm cool on the yeah. fantasy this year. Check out DraftKings, y'all. Yes. They got the weekly draft where you can better be DraftKings, and we get y'all some signups. Hey, holla at your boy. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> Sponsorship. Hey, but um, tomorrow week one, Chief Texans, we got D Watt. Versus Patty Mahomes, who you got? We'll go to Chiefs again, man. You know, just because more talent, more yeah, just more talent at the end of the day. I got I got slow start offense. Chiefs still in honeymoon phase. Yeah, close one. Texas win, but I don't, I don't think it's gonna change the outlook of the year. It's week one. You yeah. know, I just I just think Texas is gonna win. And D uh, D Watt got just got to pay his money. Feeling good. You know, I think he just got that bag too. He right? did, like, but he got it feeling good. Yeah, he got he got some crazy, but yeah. but uh Pat he got a while ago. You know what I mean? I just yeah. think they just they just happy. They just having a good old time. You know what I mean? You got Super Bowl ring. You got pay. everyone be happy until you line up with my until you line up across my boy Badger. We we'll see yeah. Badger on the field tomorrow. I think it's gonna be close one though. You know what I mean? No, I, I, I definitely one. think it'll be a good close game. But I got the Chiefs, man. Right? And real and real quick, um, just want to touch on. Two major contracts, D Hop, Jalen Ramsey, highest paid at their position. Uh, D Hop got paid forty million as signing and negotiated all of himself. On top of it, I think he fronted in the deal, so he's gonna get get paid most of that most of that money in the first two years. And on top of that, it's a two year deal, so he about to he getting forty of that this year. He yeah. getting that signing yeah. exactly. The rest is all center base. Uh, I mean, in the salary as long as he's on the roster. On top of that. He saved himself $2 million in agent fees. Now, for everyone that's high school, Pop Warner, college, you want to go league, why it's important to pay attention to school and learn business, you can save yourself money. Why pay some other dude $2 million to negotiate your own money? That's That, to me, is the most impressive when you get a deal done that's like that. To think about, we just say two million because whatever, like you know, yeah. that much money. That's a lot. That's of money. still a lot of money just to get so somebody to talk to you and to get you more money. That's you two know? million. Here you go, mom. Yeah. There you go, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, to some, you know, some random dude that I'm, you don't I'm, know. I'm really happy for D Hop, man. That that just that contract showed he definitely knew his value and he wasn't going for anything underneath it, man. And uh, definitely tip my hat to him and Jalen Ramsey because I feel like he just set the new market for the new island holders, man. For all the cute CB1s moving forward, he just set the market for y'all. And uh, is there is there a young corner right now that is that like next in line that can get that is next in line. So right now shit, I, White just got his. White got his got so everyone got paid. His. Everyone yeah. got paid. That's a top corner of the league. Is there remember when Jalen came in, we knew right away he's gonna get paid one day. You talking about okay. Marcus got paid, White got paid yeah, I'm trying Wait, to we got Kevin King. He up next. He gonna get a contract. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Kev? I told you. We already talked about Kev. Kev, Kev. Five, man, Kev just got you any know, other uh, week in, week out. Oh, Marcus Lattimore. Oh, Marcus you know, Lattimore. I might go with Kev teammate too. My boy Alexander. Alexander, Marcus Lattimore. But Lattimore. to me, but to me, they don't have what Jalen had. It was right away from day one. I'm going your best receiver when they out. Lattimore was a dog. He year. was, but was he any coming from my Ohio State? Yeah, I think, but I think he's gonna. Get, I think he the next one. I, I think he'll get that trade, that white money though. I got you. But as far as you just saying, like Jalen's you know, gave him. You saw the stat: two hundred yard games his whole life. Kind of, yeah. they said from college. Yeah. Jalen's gave him two. That's crazy, bro. And he always guards the only. I think, I think they're gonna get paid on all fat money, but I think it's gonna be uh. Y'all know, you know who I'm really high on, man? And your Raiders got him. <laughs> your Raiders got him. It's uh, the boy, um, damn, what's his name? Oh, Arnett. 
I love his I love his technique, man. I love his technique. I think Arnett can def- if he like if he ends up showing improving in game, in game like he's been doing in the uh in camp, man, I seen him run stride for stride, step for step with Henry Ruggs. Like, come on, man. One of the yeah. fastest dudes in the league. Come those, on. Those are young dudes, I think, yeah, Arnett. But his definitely. eyes, eye discipline, like he, he got great technique, uh technique, man. I think he definitely can uh Grow into that CB1 that y'all been looking for since Osmar left. Man, Osmar, that's, that's a long time ago. He was locked down. He was straight. I was running out late. Yeah, I remember, at, time. I remember at one time, it was just, it was just Osmar and Revis. That's it. Mm-hmm. Like, he was strictly strapped. And I always went Revis because I felt like Revis just played a little more man. And Osmar, no, all he did, all Osmar did, this is it. Osmar couldn't play off. Revis and he could play off play his own like that. Yeah, yeah. that too. And because when he yeah. came to my Eagles, he looked like shit. But, we, we, I, but it was our fault. Yeah. I don't know why we signed him for one if we knew he was, was going to play 30. man. He was 30. That too, but we signed him knowing we don't play man. Yeah. That was the man, that, that was the best also, thing. That, that, that was his, yeah. the best thing he could do. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, Osmo was really like 6'3", that first real, like, pre- like, it was some bigger corners, but he was 6'3". I'm, I'll never forget the game. I watched some strap Calvin. I was there. I was like, this dude is unreal. Yeah. Like, um, I think he acting now. He got a... Crazy part, Nandi Osman got a movie coming out. He acted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he married No, Kerry. his wife is, right? Carrie Watson. Yeah, he probably, hey, baby, give me, give me a, a role. I, I love Carrie, <laughs> man, and Scandal. I used to watch Scandal. Carrie yeah. go crazy. He had, man, hell of money, because he was the first, got that first fat corner mm-hmm. contract. Mm-hmm. Then after he got Carrie, he had a nice little career. Got a nice bag for my Eagles, too. He got two contracts, I think, because I know he got one with y'all, right? Yeah, he got paid, you know what I mean? Because yeah, he had that yeah, second, yeah. it wasn't fat, it was that second. Yeah. But yeah. But man, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, oh yeah, I think Jalen definitely said it. But I'm, I'm curious who's going who's going to top that. I don't see anybody that can top that. We'll see. I think about two years that might be on top it. Oh, oh, the corner money. Yeah, yeah top um, it. Like I said, I think the next in line is probably Lattimore. Lattimore. Yeah, yeah, I can think of off the top. But of that's my the head. group. I think that's the next pay group: the Kevin King, Marks Lattimore, that Jay Alexander. Good. That's the next like young group. Um, and then like yeah, I said the rookies. You know, you got Arnett just got drafted. Um, He's really the only corner that I liked in that first round. AJ, AJ Terrell, I just remember him being toast. Um, and uh, the guy from Florida, CJ Anderson. Um, you know, he was cool. I didn't see him at his pure touchdown, but we're going to see. But man, we finally get to talk about football. No more Corona, no more this and that. Um, strictly back to business. You know, we're going to keep coming with that content for y'all every week. You got, uh, got the red zone package? Uh no nah, I man like I said I wasn't sure who's was gonna have football this year so I got I got to get right I got the red zone package I got to get right for anybody uh um, NFL year. Sunday ticket NFL Sunday ticket where you can watch every game full game that um it's seventy seventy dollars a month so what football season four months so hey cool little investment yeah quick quick little money watch every game um I think that's better than red zone so for anybody, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For anybody that is way better than red yeah, zone. I will say. Red zone's cool when you got other games going on. Like something like game of the week, I like to be locked on and then yeah. red zone go in the background. Yeah. Ticket is best, especially if you're doing fantasy, just because you can watch everything. You got to. I had ticket in college. I had to watch my games. So yeah, facts, facts. But and, oh yeah, college and ticket has college discounts. So I pay like 200 for the whole Sunday ticket. Okay. So college discounts for anybody, all the college students out there. I'm actually my UC. I'm still hooked up with my cup, man. Let's do it. All right, y'all, man. Catch y'all soon. Appreciate Thank it. Thank y'all, man. Still went for it. It's time to change the club.